Hey everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, what we have discussed in the previous video. So I'm going to recreate a whole workflow for you so you can understand and you can also create a workflow which will help, uh, 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 you know, uh, which will take the whole capabilities of UiPath and also chat GPT and it will help in identifying the right fit for that particular position. So in order to understand this video, you must have what I am, you must understand what I'm talking about. So I've clearly explained about the use case detailedly in the previous video. Please do check out the pre previous video. So I am providing the link over here and also in the description of the video. So please do check out for understanding that and also the previous videos on this particular series will give you good understanding of what are the activities and the packages that I'm using and you need as a prerequisite to, uh, you know, to go ahead and, uh, you know, recreate this workflow. So even if you have good knowledge on your iPad, then that's fine. Otherwise, it's important to not have gaps in understanding. So without any ado, let's get into the video and recreate this whole workflow. But before do that, if you're watching my channel for the first time, I'm Harika and I create videos on UiPath through Bocop and I'm learning chatbot. Uh, so I'm very much interested in understanding and exploring this advanced AI, uh, you know, technologies so uh i will be doing a lot of videos and putting out all my research and you know uh, content over here on my channel so if you find my videos useful please give a big thumbs up because i put a lot of effort in making videos that gives me a lot of motivation to come up with good content and also do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any videos on my channel so now what i'm doing i'm going to create a workflow here uh, so let's name it appropriately find the find the right candidate okay using chat gpt okay perfect oh the file name is already exist okay uh okay i use for demo okay so let's keep demo fine uh, so now what i'm going to do here is i am going to first so here i have shown in the uh you know uh, use case explanation that I'm going to first read the resume, right? So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to digitize the document. It's in a PDF or you can just use read PDF also. Anything is fine. So, but here I'm using the digitized document. Uh, okay. So I am going to pick the resume from here. So let me show you what all the files that I have first. I have the resume inside resume. I have one journalist resume, which is not it comes into the category of the RPA developer. So here you can see this is the dummy file that I've taken from online. So information here is not, you know, uh, related to anyone okay so after that i have a rpa developer resume so this is my resume i have modified and taken out few things and added a little dummy data over here to look just like rpa developers resume and the another resume i have taken as a rpa developer uh, this is also some dummy data with some relevant information about ui path and blue prism work fusion but not too much in detail okay so these are the three different resumes that i will be passing to my uipath uh, robot and that will fetch the information from this and it will cross check across the job description so what is the job description that i'm passing here is rpa developer jd so this is the job description. So here I'm looking for uh, a person who is good at UiPath Blue Prism automation anywhere, at least having two years of experience in the programming language like C, C++, VB script and all, and is uh, good at uh, APIs, developing and consuming APIs, and have good database in knowledge and analytical skills and all that thing, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create okay so now i'm reading the document and i'm gonna we all know from the previous understanding that i'm gonna digitize and it will give me the two outputs one is text and other one is dom okay perfect so after digitizing the document so this i have clearly explained in the previous videos that's why i'm telling to watch the previous content it really gives you a lot of understanding from there so after digitizing what is the next step i wanted to read the pdf uh, read the text file okay 
I'm going to read the text file that has the job description in it. So I'm reading the text file with the job description. And I'm going to save this in a output file JD. Okay. STR JD. So both are the string values. So now comes the major thing of the workflow. So now we have two documents. One is um, a resume and the other one is, okay, let's change the, this to relevant name. This contains resume. Okay. One is resume and the other one is the JD. Okay. So I'm going to ask chat GPT now. Okay. So here I will pass the resume. Okay. And here I'm going to ask a few questions. So uh, what is the first question? I wanted to send out a mail to that particular mail ID, right? So I'm asking what is the mail ID of the person or the candidate? Okay. And what is my next question? I wanted to understand if this person is a fit for the role or not. So I just don't want too much information. I just want to provide me with a yes or no. About what? Does the candidate fit into or does the resume? Okay. Does the resume fit into the role, into the job description? Okay. But we haven't provided any job, job description to the robot, right? So how robot will understand where to where it will search for. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just concatenating the job description. So it will check. This whole thing is a prompt. I'm telling, provide me with a yes or no. This is a resume. So we know the, the bot has read, uh, the chat GPT has read the resume from the STR resume that we have sent through digitizing. And it's uh, it's going to check with the job, job description. So where is the job description? This is the job description, right? So now let's see how smart a chat GPT is and how it can understand our question. So let's retrieve the results here and see the response okay so list response uh, and i have clearly shown you what uh, how the response would look like and uh, you know uh, what it will be and everything okay how it will look like and what will be the data type and everything in the previous video so i'm not going too much detail here because the video will become so lengthy so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a message box and I will put a text here if it's a match or not. Okay. Resume is um, match. Resume is match for here it will say me yes or no. Okay. So response of I have my question in the second. It's a second question, right? That means in the first position and I'm going to take the answer. Okay. From that. So don't worry if you're not understanding why I'm writing this thing, this particular syntax. Please do uh, check out the videos because I have clearly explained uh, by uh, running the workflow in the debug mode because in the debug mode we will understand the data type and how we can retrieve that particular value from a uh, you know output so this is uh, in the dictionary format so i'm using the key for extraction so done and after that what after this what i'm going to do i'm gonna uh, let's debug this okay and i will show you something else also debug so the same thing i'm gonna run on multiple files and you will see how the bot will respond how the bot uh along with intel artificial intelligence can uh you know give you a, a a quick and easy answer okay so you will see a lot more now uh, stay tuned till the end of the video okay so now i'm gonna see 
okay here if you see i got the list response right so just check out this content here we can see uh, let me just do one thing here it is very big because um, list response of zero so what is there in the zero it has provided me the email id i have asked for the mail id right it has provided me the right one and the next one is one it should answer me with the s because it's a right fit right so this is perfect and what i'm going to do here is after this thing uh, i'm not showing you how the mail will be sent because that's a normal basic use case and i'm not gonna make this video large by adding up all these uh, basic things mm, the, what bot is going to do it will just pick this particular mail id and it will send out uh, you know the confirmation that it that this person has cleared the first level of screening and the uh, you know um, the next details like the interview details will be mailed to them shortly so that's how a bot can you know handle this particular uh, resume screening process uh, so now what i'm going to do i will give in a lot of information resume match for the rule yes okay right perfect so now i'm going to give a lot of resumes i'm going to provide uh, the bot with a lot of resumes and uh, which are not only confined to rpa developer role but also a different profession so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, add in just a small logic over here i'm going to assign and i'm going to take all the files as i have shown you directory dot get files as i have shown you that i have the files in the resume folder okay let me show you where I have resumes, okay, in the resumes folder. And I wanted to pick all the PDF files, right? So for that, this is the syntax. Let me maximize this a bit. So you all can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read all the files from the resumes folder, all the PDF files, okay? So let's say, okay, and take here. Uh, we have a list of files, right? So it's an let's consider this an array, okay? Array of files. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to iterate. So let's change the variable type to array of, okay? And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to iterate the same logic for all the files. That means individual files. So here I'm going to pass in all the things into this scope. Okay. Perfect, right? And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the file that goes into the document path, which is current item. Okay. So we have taken all the files in the resumes folder and we are, um, you know, uh, iterating through each file at a time and we are digitizing and the rest of the flow remains the same. What we are doing, we are asking here the chat GPT if that particular resume, so the resume now is in the current file, if that fits the job description or not, that's it, right? So now let's run it and we'll see how the chat GPT will respond for the different types of inputs. That means different types of resume files because here in the resume I have shown you that I have a resume of the journalist, right? So this is a journalist resume. So practically this should be a no, right? This doesn't fit the RPA developer position. So it should be a no, it doesn't match. So let's see what the robot will provide me. Resume is match for the role, no. Because the first one is Ayush, which is a journalist, okay? And next uh, it will be picking this one. So I have shown you this already. This is an S, right? So let's wait for the response from the bot. 
so guys all these resumes i have actually picked from so it's an yes right perfect let's wait for the third one so let's see what this will actually gives uh, and i'll show you the resume what it is there also so this resume is uh, this one okay so this is also something that i've got got from online so guys all the information like jd and you know this thing and resumes and everything i've got from online i've searched multiple sites to get this dummy data and you know modify a little bit so that i don't get any you know issues with copyrights and all and also for creating this uh for the ideas and all so here it says it's a match resume is match for the role which is an s so this is perfect because uh this resume says let's go into the resume and look what it actually has so this re resume says that you know this person has experience with blue prism and uh, some it knowledge excellent stakeholder management and uh, uh can we see ui path anywhere if they have or handle something with ui path or orchestrator see it's perfect ui path and they have capabilities of rpa prototypes proof of concepts and rpa tool sets and all these things right uh, so this is this is a good fit also for that role orchestrates and everything right so this is also a good fit so that's where robot has given in yes so i was actually mentioning that it takes a lot of effort from my side to actually you know get all this information and put it put it over there in a well crafted manner so that you guys can understand so it's a lot of effort from my side so if you really like the videos and if you find them useful and informative please give a thumbs up because that gives me a lot of motivation and also uh, you know subscribe to my channel for more such content so uh, i will be coming up with more interesting and creative ideas on the chat gpt and you can also find videos on crash course on chat gpt on my channel uh, so do not miss any of them do subscribe and also hit the like button and also let me know what you like about this video in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video